Pisces, Empress Virgo, Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this time, this love reading, and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message in the reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? So let's get into it. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless love reading? As always, guys, take only the messages that resonate with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But if it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe. And whenever you get a chance, please make sure you check out my book, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal. My journey in the classroom as an empath and a teacher is about my time in the classroom as a K-12 and a preschool teacher. <laughs> it's about how my empathic abilities were affecting me, the students, and everyone around this, okay? So it's an interesting page turning read. I hope you guys will consider supporting it. You can pick it up and ebook and paperback formats wherever books are sold and i have a li link listed below in the description box where you guys can purchase a copy if you feel inclined to do so okay and your support is much appreciated okay all right so we had the princess of wands the king of pentacles the king of swords the six of swords the four of wands the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, around energy, the Ace of Swords. Y'all, one of y'all had a past life as a young girl who was supposed to be um, in an arranged marriage. I, where the heck that coming from? I don't know. But whoever was your guardian, whether you be your mother or your father, but I keep feeling like your parents, um, died at early age. Maybe it's in this life. So I don't know. But somebody was trying to hook you up with, let's just say some older men. You were of age. You were at least like 18 or 19. But somebody wanted you to marry one of these older men here. I'm not going to lie. And this how you were living. It was like, oh my goodness, I'm in a pickle. I don't know what to do. Yeah. See? you can't. I can't make this stuff up. Two of Wands. It's like you wanted to further your education. You wanted to travel and see the world. But you, for whatever past life that I'm picking up on for whoever this is for, you were like forced to choose between one of these two men and you did it. You picked one of them. Um, and I feel like in this lifetime, you, you know, it's like you want marriage, but you don't want it on those terms. It's like you're getting married now at a later age, maybe in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. Tell you how it resonates for you. It's like you're not doing, repeating the same cycle from a previous lifetime. I have never in my life picked up on something like this. This is interesting. It's like you, it's like you don't understand why. Maybe in your particular age group or set of friends, you were the one that everybody thought was going to get married first. But it's not like you try to purposely avoid commitment young, but it's like something in your mind or in your gut, or maybe it was your intuition telling you you had a lot to do now because of, of what happened to you in the past life. Damn. So I see now that it's like, you're moving toward marriage, but it's on your terms. Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. Yes, you want that security, the stability, and mutual respect, but you also want the peace of mind, as in no one's going to rule over you. And I felt like with in this past life, y'all, yeah, go with it. If you know about past life regression, I don't know who this is for, but it's like you were forced to marry some older men, okay, because you... Because your guardian, your mother or your father or whoever passed away and you had a guardian that was just trying to pawn you off on someone. Ooh, this one is weird. Okay. 
and see now in this lifetime it's like you got knowledge you don't know where it's, it's come from but it's like nope not me and Mary Young I got things to do I want to go to school I want to start a business I want to do this career that career just saying this is what I'm feeling it's like you know you got you you were born for greatness not saying that having a family and all that is not greatness but what I'm saying is like you didn't want to do it as a young person and I feel like whatever journey you own now it shows but you don't know where that comes from that rebel rouser adventurer spirit comes from in you like okay look I'm not settling for this I'm not doing this I want a relationship a marriage or whatever a commitment but I will not be a burden to someone else I feel like that's how you feel I will not be ruled over okay I want the best yes but on my terms like that that eight of pentacles nine of pentacles energy right here perfectionism okay you gonna put in the hard work but you also want a partner that puts in the hard work you not going it's like you are determined not to repeat your mistakes from a previous lifetime or the mistakes of your family now that you see in this lifetime it's like nope the book stops here i'm not repeating generational karma and trauma from this lifetime or a previous lifetime that's a ooh baby i don't know where they go <laughs> it's like you you just ace of wands for some of y'all y'all like to travel y'all like to do creative activities it's like you living your best single life whether you be divine masculine or divine feminine but this is a divine feminine i'm talking to for sure it's like you will not be tied down if you have commitment you want it on your terms you will not be getting married as a young young woman okay <laughs> I'll put it to you this way. If, when or if you do get married, you're not going to be too young, like 20s or teens. It's like you have a memory of that from a past life of being a young woman and you were pawned off on somebody or you were forced to marry for uh, security, like riches and not being taken advantage of. But that wasn't what, it, what you wanted back then in that previous life eight of swords two of wands you felt at a crossroads you felt trapped child i have never pisces placements it's like you tapped into your your you're tapping into your past life energy and don't even realize that's where your adventurous spirit comes from that's where your zest of life comes from that's where it's like you came in this lifetime to not repeat that because you had a rough go of it Maybe you had everything provided for you, but it's, that's not what you wanted. And, but you didn't have no say-so in that. Oh, baby. Come on, spirit. You didn't have no say-so in that in that uh, dynamic back in that previous lifetime. Y'all, I have never, ever, 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 ever. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> if it's for you, it's for you. Acceptance, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. For some of y'all, that is a, a, a lesson that y'all have to learn. Maybe that's what you came back to learn. It's like, that's what you had to accept then. But right now, maybe things are a little bit different. Okay? Maybe you were placed in this lifetime to learn acceptance and acceptance of what you went through in the past for some of y'all i really believe it and know that hey this time things are aligning because hey you paid that karmic debt for a lot of y'all you paid that karmic debt in the past but for some of y'all y'all don't know why you feel like eh, the you don't, you don't know why you had that rebel rouser spirit and this is why okay all right, y'all. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye, guys.